For this tutorial, we're going to learn about inequalities that use two variables. So let's start off by looking at how we can graph them. So let's look at example one. So here it says graph the inequality y is less than 1 half x plus 4. Well, let's get a graph out. Now before we start, we need to take in consideration what the inequality sign is. Now for us, it's less than. And since it's less than, y will never actually equal this expression because it doesn't have the equal sign there as well. So when we draw our line, we need to make it dotted. And that signifies that it cannot equal it. So let's do that. So this is what the line would look like. Now we also need to signify whether it's less than or greater than. Now for us, since it's less than, we're going to shade the region that's below the line. So let's do that. So our graph would look something like this. So since y is less than 1 half x plus 4, we have the dotted line because y will not be equal to that expression, but it can be anything less than that, hence all the shaded area below it. So this is how we would graph a linear inequality. Now let's take a look at another example. This time with example two, we want to graph the inequality y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x plus two minus one. So now this time we're working with the absolute value. Now again, before we graph, we want to keep in consideration what the inequality is. This time it says greater than or equal to. Well, since it could be equal to, we'll actually draw a solid line like we normally do with graphs. So let's graph the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1. So that's what the expression would look like, but now we need to take in consideration the inequality. So y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1. So if it's greater than or equal to, we're going to need to shade the area that's above the line. So let's do that. So that's what our entire inequality would look like. So since y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1, we'll first of all have this solid line because it can be equal to, but then it could also be anything greater than that expression. And that is why we have the entire region above the function shaded. Now let's move on to another concept. So here with example three, now we're starting to work backwards. This time they've given us a graph of the function and they want us to write the inequality for it. So first we need to figure out what the equation for this line is. Now we know the equation for this line will look something similar to y equals mx plus b. Now right now, we know our b for sure, since that's the y-intercept. Well, this line intercepts the y-axis at y equals 1. So we know our b is 1. So we could plug that in. Now we just need to find out what our slope is. So let's start with our y-intercept at y equals 1. And let's go over one unit in the positive x direction. So that would be about right here. So rather than taking these two points and doing the slope formula, let's just do rise over run. So here, from our y-intercept, our rise to the next point would be down 1, down 2. So that would give us a rise of negative 2. Now we need to do our run. So from here, we'll start and then we'll go over 1. So that leaves us with a run of 1. Now when we do slope, it's rise over run. So our rise over run is negative 2 divided by 1, which gives us a slope of negative 2. So we can plug that in for our equation. So y equals a negative 2x plus 1. Now right now we just have the equation for this line here, 
but we actually need to write the inequality for this function. Now since we have a solid line on the graph, we know that y can be equal to this particular function. But since we have this shaded region above it as well, we know that it could also be greater than. So we could write this as y is greater than or equal to this line here, negative 2x plus 1. So that would be our inequality for example 3. Now let's take a look at another example. This time we need to write an inequality for this function. So let's first start off by finding out the equation to this absolute value function. So for this, let's start off by saying y equals. Now since our absolute value is pointing downwards, we know there was a reflection across the x-axis. So we're going to have a negative here. And also we know that there was a horizontal shift because it's not lying right on the y-axis. So let's first get our horizontal shift. So it moved over to the left two places. So to accommodate that we need to put x plus 2 within the absolute value sign. And then to get our vertical shift we need to add however many units it went up. So that would be 5. So the equation for the absolute value function would be y equals negative absolute value x plus 2 plus 5. But we need to actually get the inequality. Now since we have dotted lines here, we know that it cannot be equal to. But since we have the shaded region below the function, we know that it will be less than. So when we write that, we need to say that y is less than this absolute value function. So negative absolute value of x plus 2 plus 5. And that would be the inequality for this particular graph.